This is the incredible story of the Roblox duels entering into the Minecraft dimension. As you may know, there is a new game on Roblox called Roblox Stores. However, it is one of the scariest games in existence and has somehow managed to be transported into the Minecraft dimension. Now, what's happened here is in this Minecraft world, I went on an adventure where I managed to find the secret base of the Roblox Stores. As you can see, I spawned right outside of this Minecraft secret base after exploring for quite some time. And when I managed to find what I found, it was truly, truly scary. You see, this secret base wasn't like many other secret bases. It was carved into a stone wall that was set above a lot of grass in the Minecraft dimension. And in this case, what we knew is that the Roblox doors, the characters, we didn't exactly know how they were going to form. Because when creatures travel from dimension to dimension, things can definitely get a little bit difficult. So what we needed to do was we needed to explore the secret base in a way in which we could know that we were going to be safe. The only way I knew that was by equipping myself with this iron sword and making sure I ate these golden apples the moment I jumped down into the secret base. Now once I dropped down inside the secret base, I realized that there was quite a lot of interesting things down there, as in there were multiple different levels in which there were different characters. Now using the ladder system in this world, I managed to get down to the first level. I realized that there were around four more levels, but this was also quite similar to the actual Roblox game itself, and I wasn't exactly sure how this dimension would play out. I realized that the first room that we had entered was the one called doors. And as you could see, there were multiple different doors that we had to explore. All we had to do in this said area was make sure that whatever door I opened, I needed to be careful because every time you opened a door, you risked a mob coming straight at you. Now, allegedly there was a mob that was in the shape of an eye, but I wasn't exactly sure if that was the case because I knew that in dimensions, creatures can travel, but I wasn't sure which was going to be there. So I kept on opening doors and that's when I found this huge eye. Now luckily, it seemed as if this was a non-moving entity and by the looks of things, it wasn't going to attack me. It seemed like maybe I just completed the game or found the easter egg that I was supposed to find for that specific level. Nonetheless, I was actually pretty excited because I felt a sense of accomplishment as I walked through the base, it seemed that I'd made it to the end. So I knew that the next task was moving to the next level. Now, these stairs were actually pretty difficult to use, but somehow I made it down to the next level. And this was where we actually encountered our first true Minecraft mob. There was a book and it said, seek. Now at first I was confused because what would that mean? But upon opening the book, it said in rooms numbered 30 to 45 and 80 to 95 is where the humanoid, one-eyed figure monster named Seek shows up. Seek is the counterpart to hide and will chase you around while obstacles fall in front of you as you run away from them. Its warning sign is an eye that will spawn randomly, which indicates that it is now present and will chase you soon. So I knew I was definitely in for some trouble as there was an all-seeing eye or one giant eye somewhere nearby that would begin to chase me as soon as it spawned in. Although this seemed quite scary at first, it did seem quite fun as I knew I had the necessary means to be able to beat whatever character this was. So I did what any normal person would do, I cleared the obstacles and as I was clearing the obstacles I actually managed to come across Seek himself and this was truly terrifying. Much more terrifying than I initially imagined. The moment he hit me, fear had struck my body. He was smaller than the Roblox counterpart, but nonetheless, he was still as weird and still as scary, as he did have one eye in his body and he was saying watch out for obstacles. I'm not sure why he was saying this, but nonetheless, it was very, very uncanny. And quickly, I managed to dispose of him. And that was lucky because he didn't seem to have full health or to be the version that we've known from the other game. So nonetheless, we continued on, trucked on to the next level. Now, when we went to the next level, this is where we encountered another interesting creature. So as you can see right here, when we come down, 
it did actually say prepare yourself with a room full of light so i'm guessing that this creature was an emitter of darkness some kind of creature that maybe took out the lights takes out the lights or thrives in the darkness like bats do and it did say screech and it did have a page which gave us information on that particular mob so of course i did the best thing and i opened up the book ripped it out of the item frame and read the first page Screech is one of the quiet ones in the list of Doors monsters. It will only spawn in dark rooms. Screech plans to seek you out silently, and players must listen properly to detect it. If the player does not detect Screech soon enough or fails to look at it directly, Screech will damage you and jump scare you. So I put the book back as quickly as possible because Screech was most certainly scary. And just as we had predicted, this was a creature that was quite terrifying. If we didn't place enough lights, in the room as quick as possible screech would be nearby and he would be doing some kind of trickery some kind of sorcery i wasn't exactly sure what to expect but at the same time i knew that whatever we did see would be quite terrifying in nature and eventually i did manage to meet that creature but as you can see my strategy here was to place as many blocks of glowstone as humanly possible that way he would have nowhere to hide but as i opened up the door that's when he attacked me screech came out of nowhere and to my surprise he wasn't able to break down doors luckily luckily i could block him off from this one place so of course when i opened up the door and i held the axe in my hand i was surprised to see he disappeared but he spawned back at his regular place luckily of course i was equipped with my enchanted golden apples and i managed to dispose of Screech. Now Screech was most certainly scarier than the other one because there were pre-existing conditions if I wanted to live whilst he was around. And luckily, I managed to win. So next was the next level. And I wasn't exactly sure what to expect because two characters were quite the same, but this one, it felt different. My nerves were tingling and I felt that this book was gonna read in an entirely different way. As it said, Jack. So what I did was, of course, I hit the sign, I opened up the book, and I read it away. Unlike all the other monsters, Jack is a monster that only aims to scare you. He has a chance to show up randomly. For example, there is a 1 in 2,000 chance he appears on an inside or open door, and a 1 in 20 chance of appearing inside a closet. Going inside a Jack-filled closet will immediately open the cabinet and scare you. Once finished, it pushes you away and the closet closes. So clearly, there were things that we needed to go inside and things that we needed to do. This was certainly very interesting because we were going inside rooms, cabinets and closets to find this person named Jack. And I honestly didn't know what this Jack was going to look like. There wasn't any real description other than he was going to scare me. So when I looked inside these closets and I opened each one, luckily the first few, there weren't many characters. But of course, as I was exploring, I was still on the edge because any character can appear at any given time. And that's exactly what happened. As I was opening this one, as you could see, Jack spawned in right there. And he actually scared me quite a bit because his face was super scary. And I know that might seem very easy to say, but trust me, I've seen a lot of scary mobs on this channel and we've explored many different creatures, but that one was truly, truly terrifying. So we continued down onto the final level and the final level was truly something amazing. And I say amazing without a doubt. The last mob was called Figure. I didn't know what this meant at the time, but I now know it meant that it was one elusive mob. The figure only shows up about twice in the game and will try to kill you. And at first it appears on the library once you open the 100th door and it will try to follow you around. The figure will still try to check in your hiding spots so you need to move around to make sure you avoid him. But make sure you do it slowly. So this mob was truly dangerous. And it also said there is a mini game mechanic when a figure is nearby while you are hiding where you must match his heartbeats unless you want to get killed. Come in direct contact with the figure who will instantly kill you. So don't even mess around. This was by sure Minecraft's most dangerous mob ever to be seen. And as you guys can see, we were about to enter the belly of the beast. Quite dangerous and quite scary. But the only thing that we knew is that this creature was blind. So even if this creature did manage to find us, we could somehow escape him because he couldn't actually see us, only hear us. We just had to make sure that we were very, very quiet. 
But as I was jumping, doing parkour, trying to get to a certain area, this is where our first encounter was. And this character luckily didn't manage to one-shot us like the game had told us it would. So far, we were still quite very much alive. And eventually, I managed to do the unthinkable. Using my swift iron sword and my golden apples, I actually managed to defeat the very own 